Wait, we're live? We're live. I I'm... don't... I am? We're live. In general. Oh. Also, um, friends... Wait, actually, that Steam Lobby link might not be even correct. That's awkward. Copy link address. Also, friends, you you have to shout at me today. Ah. Why? To, to shout ah. out to shake day. It's a, shout it's a shout out day. I no, not a shout out day. Shout outs to Sam. No, shout outs to his a... table that doesn't work. It's shout outs to his tin can microphone. Wait, it's actually shout, shout outs to his sleep schedule. I mean, shout no, you're not a tin can right right now. No, the tin like, can fix. I didn't, you were asleep. I didn't want to wake you up. Just, I've told you, like, if I just a message. And I told you I'm not listening to that. Yeah, and you... <laughs> but if I don't get message, then I just keep sleeping because I'm... Just, Stop I that. I don't care, Penny. I don't care. Just message me. No, you're sleeping. Heck, no. No, this is I'm... Bored. Interesting. It's, an, it's a very, it's a very problematic conundrum here. Is anyone here? Am I doing it right? Probably. Yeah, I'll, I'll, you know, I uh, so. I'll check Twitch chat in a second. Oh, a lot of people did not check in. I'm just gonna assume Hydra and Doc are gonna show up. Then, yeah, hopefully. Uh, hopefully the best from there. Also, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be weird, so it is, because it's like is I'm do, I'm doing the two days thing where it's like, uh, it's Wednesday and Thursday I'm not allowed to do my dot stuff, and then uh -huh. starting next Wednesday, can't do it for the whole week. Ooh, that's a that's a jump. That's gonna be an interesting. That's gonna be an interesting thing. Because because my therapist said um, the pro the problem with like because we thought like because initially like she was like. And then we were like, oh, uh, the, the going outside is going to be the hard part, right? And she's like, actually, the, the dots are going to be hard, and you're going to see why. And then, like, we get to this point, and now I see why. And the reason why is because, like, well, when you're doing the walk thing, you're probably only going to, like, at the start, like, go out for, like, 20 minutes a day and everything. Like, you're not mm -hmm. going to be outside constantly, even when you're doing it normally. But mm -hmm. with the dots thing, you're constantly online, so... <laughs> you're, you're always, like, feeling that, so the dots are going to be harder. And she was right. <laughs> but she's saying, like, you should do the dots one night that we're already in the flow of it, because then it's going to make the walking outside thing a lot easier. And you're just going to uh, blitz through that. Also, uh, the period key is on the keyboard, and outside is not on the keyboard. So exactly. it's much harder to put into a chat. <laughs> exactly. Because it's just not there. Can you imagine pressing the outside on the keyboard for, like, 20 minutes? That'd be tough. <laughs> just got to push the outside button. I don't like the outside it? button. It's, it's gross. Icky. Reminds <laughs> me of Satan. Wrong that with escalated Satan. quickly. What's that? What's wrong with Satan? I mean, he. The problem with Satan was that he believed in social mobility, which is obviously a bad thing, apparently. Uh -huh. So he liked wheelchairs? Yes. Yes. <laughs> he liked wheelchairs. That's a pretty social mobility. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't remember how to like get to like the chat only thing. Yeah. I don't know. Was it Satan hot? Yeah. I mean, technically, can be. Also, I I I just can't join. So I can like it just wouldn't let me join. You know the way normally I'm like, oh, I'll just join for the like friends thing. Just would not show up. Well, good news, Sam. Um, if you go to the BG8 Discord, <laughs> there's uh -huh. a lobby link. Uh huh. Of which you it's can okay. click that will automatically take you to it. Nah. This is also information for anyone in the chat if it's your turn on screen on the movie theater. We're gonna watch the movie. We, we here there, uh, who's in chat so far? No one. Who, who do we got? Uh, no one? Dry Trap and Dr. Doctor. No one. That's what I'm talking about. No one said hello to me, so it, it doesn't matter. Um, we're still That's because you're a bully, Sam. On Hydra and Dr. Doctor, but Dr. Doctor said he's gonna check in when he knows he can be online. 
Hello, Doki Doki. Oh, so, okay. Do Should I uncheck in Dr. Doc in that case? Because I just checked them in because I just assumed they'd be fine. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll uncheck them in. How do I do that? Uh, I, I don't actually know. Yeah. How to do that. <laughs> okay, no, they're good. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, they're good? Yeah. It's all according to Kikaku. All right, cool. Hello, Snapple, yeah, Apple, play. and good to... Hi. Uh... Hi, just here. All right, cool. And... Can you guys hear me? Because I'm so low on the street. <laughs> I can hear you fine. No, but I'm just talking to, like, chat. I'm, like, really low on the street. I turned you up, but now my ears hurt. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Um, Trap uh, Win. Good call. I'm very tired. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> Let's. See. You can turn me down a little bit, Penny. I'm a bit too loud now. <laughs> He's so needy. <laughs> I'm just trying to make the stream good, all right? <laughs> Alright. Hey, is Hydra here? Are we... Hydra's here. Hydra's here? Hydra's yeah, here. Hydra, you ready to check in? I checked him in. Okay. Okay, we're good then. Do you, do All you right. people want to do your job? No. no. <laughs> we're confident here. <laughs> hey, where's the push the random button? I found it. I clicked away from it. I found it. Nice. There's, there's no random button. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Skullgirls B Great, where everything is random, the seating is weird, and the points don't matter. Nah. Um, what we do here is we're standard, it's a standard Skullgirls tournament. It's exactly what you see at a major. Best three out of five, all the way through. Ooh, uh, best three out of five, all the way through. Um, two sets per round on winner's side on stream until. What does the bracket look like? Um, eh, losers round three. Until losers round three, uh, losers' side will be off stream entirely. Uh, if you are participating, potato. If you are participating today, <laughs> please join the Steam group chat. You can find the Steam group chat by typing exclamation mark BG8 chat into Twitch chat. Uh, that is your main means of communicating with us, the BG8 team, uh, regarding logistics. In case you don't want to report your score directly to challenge and just want to post it there, or if you have any questions or cannot find your opponent. If you cannot find your opponent and you are waiting on them to finish up your set, please communicate with us ASAP. Uh, do not wait too long because otherwise that can hold up the bracket and then there'll be a lot of us just sitting around on stream waiting for the bracket to catch up. That's no good. Uh, so instead, I don't know. First three weeks of the month are randomized seating, and you get points towards seating on the fourth week of the month, which is a prize pool tournament. We're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna leave the lobby so I can warm up and mute myself so I don't drown you guys out with my buttons. But you guys are all awesome. I'll we be should back. start putting in the intro. Uh, welcome to the tournament where we don't talk about the tournament. <laughs> yep. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast. Yeah. Welcome to the Be Great podcast, where there's a tournament happening. Sometimes I don't know. I don't really pay attention to that. Look at look at Craig thinking he's a host when never when actual when in actuality he's a contestant. Ooh, how dare he? Uh, yeah, I didn't change the title. I'll be honest. I still don't know how to do that. <laughs> Craig, how do I change the title? You don't. It's too late. Okay. It's the seventh. We've gone back in time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'll fix it for the VOD. But okay. um, if you have the latest OBS, it actually lets you change it right there. There's like a little widget for it. It's really nice. Yeah, mine does it, but it only works on my stream. <laughs> you can you can make a separate profile for GetGreat so that oh, you no don't have profile? to keep on swapping out the stream key. Oh, that'd be so nice. No. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> you, there's like profile at the top. You <laughs> click it, and then you click like new. And then you can say, I am get great now, and then OBS will be like, okay. Wait, this good is to go. insane. <laughs> yeah, it's technology some forbidden-ass so technology. Oh my god. It's not like old DMs or anything used to have the technology Sam. to switch profiles. Yeah, like Sam, like, this, is, this isn't... It's not like old technology has come so far. It's like, this isn't old technology. This has been there since literally day one. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> um, well, my brain says that, uh, Crank, you should be on stream round one. Because the other two are in the same bracket thing. I am desperately trying to warm up, but everyone in Quick Match is not wanting to talk to me. I guess. <laughs> All right. So, uh, 
Chang Trait. So let's do. Buy me some time. Is okay. What I'm trying to say. Round one, we'll do Hydra vs. Dry Trap. And then round two, we'll do Crank vs. Static. <coughs> this collusion. Like Wait, me fighting who now? You're fighting Snapple Apple. Oh, okay. Crank is card crank. This is advanced collusion. So he is. <laughs> He's card crank. <laughs> What did I say? Hydra vs. Dry Trap and then Snapple vs. Crank? That's what I said. Yeah, Hydra vs. Dry Trap, you're first. Get it in here. Oh, so Penny. Yeah. I'm, I'm a little bit too low and Crank's a bit too high. Oh my god! <laughs> I turned you down by two! I know. No! <laughs> Crank's a bit too don't high. Don't make me do things, I don't want to move. Good host. Um, <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> Welcome to I'm delusionally tired, and Sam doesn't know Skullgirls, so we're gonna be great hosts. <laughs> Perfect. How dare you assume I don't know Skullgirls? Right. You know what, Sam? You can prove it. You got this first one. <laughs> no. Just pretend like I'm not here. But we don't we don't talk about Skullgirls. Just pretend the same. Okay, I'll pretend you're not here. It's not right, hard. I'm going to bed. All bye. Right, cool, bye. <laughs> I see parasols. I see parasols. I get happy. Penny, you're not here. No, I'm here because you won't do it. I, cause I'm bad at it. <laughs> so I have to do it. I'm bad at commentating the game. I'm only good at making the ha ha funny jokes. Yeah, I'm making myself can... look like an idiot. Dry, if you can do this, I'll be happy. Um, you're not doing it very well yet. I'll be honest with you. Dry trap suck. I mean, Parasol is Parasol's worst matchup, but you do not. Beat Extend is not a zoning assist. I'll tell you that for free. Also, uh, if, if you're listening, I know it's not get great, but if you're running Paravan, don't heck and use Beat Extend. <laughs> use Brass. Why? Beat Extend doesn't give her anything. She's already got one of the best DPs in the game, so she doesn't need another one. You can't Fair. even pillar plus assist because Beat Extend's too fast. So you just get happy birthday. Just use Brass. Just use Brass. Brass is a DP anyway, it's armored. Ooh, cross well, under. Oh. The raw concho out of pressure. <laughs> getting hit by the giant step. Shouldn't be working, but we take it when it does. Just Because he keeps brass. trying the raw concho. <laughs> Just doing the H brass for full screen. I'm judging everything. As you should. Dry Trap's playing badly, but Hydra doesn't know what he's doing either. <laughs> and we got the corner combos that I'm really happy you know. Like, extremely happy. And then you dropped it, but that's a hard combo on late, so that's fine. Nah. D be disappointed. Nah, that's fine. Should. I nah, can't do nah, those combos. I don't know the inputs. Nah. Just be disappointed. I already That was am. disgusting. That, that was gross, Hydra. I like that one. That was dumb. I don't know about finishing the combo, but... I like the reset. That's a bond with 5 meter. That is a band with five bars. And, uh, Hydra is very liberally calling assists, but also Dry Trap is dead. So that's a pretty big negative column for Dry Trap winning this. I think, uh, that's a five bar deficit for Dry right there. All right, you owe me five bars with interest. <laughs> Once I spend all of them, I better have another five bars. <laughs> You have to pay me back with 15. Oh, so, can, can, I just want to give a quick shout out to Draco. Fuck him. Alright, cool. So, Dr. Cool. Doctor. <laughs> uh, for round one, it's two matches on straight. It depends on how many people are in the bracket. Normally, round one is two matches, and then after that, there's only two, so we just keep doing that. So, for this time, we're doing High Drivers Dry Trap, and then Crank for Snapple, and everyone else is off stream. Um, also a reminder, if you're playing on stream, don't have it playing. You don't need that. Silly. Silly goose. Um, 
Yeah, raw snipe is not what you want to use to get out of this. Like, it worked there, but also you lost half your life trying to do it. That's not what you want to be doing. After the double- after the single tier hits you, there's room to super jump and float, and yeah, that's what you want to be doing. Just trying to help out the umbrellas, you know? You gotta- no, M eager- M eager is not as good as you think it is. I hardly heckin' use that thing, I'll be honest. Kinda sucks. Just avoid it! Yeah, I mean, you don't need him to absorb it if you're just in the air, anyway. <laughs> Wasn't watching the tier. Just do the A train, heck it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Tried to parry the pillar, I think. You can see the little shimmy, you know? This is a fucking, like, just stand there. <laughs> try, tra try and challenge Fuku a jump light punch. That's not a thing you get to do. Just do the A train, heck it. What do you mean he has four bars and I die if he misses? They're in the air. They're in the air. I must A-train. I must 2C. Hi, welcome to the most judgy b great you've ever seen. I'm only doing it because Dry Trap wanted me to be proud of him and I have to prove that I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, I'm sorely disappointed. <laughs> Harsh but fair. <laughs> It's Crank! What about Crank? He joined. Hello! Well, I have returned. Did you do a quick match? No, no one would fight me. Awesome. So I just gave up. <laughs> crank! Yes. You're doing matches off stream, you're holding up the bracket! No, he's not. Yes, he not is. Not. He's on the next set on stream. Nah. Sam, I pay attention. Nah. I'm a tournament veteran. You aren't even here for the first few matches. Crank, we gotta play this game together. Sure. Yes, oh, please. Have, have you been... What was the team you were gonna work on? It was a uh, Fortune something? A fortune Squiggly Band. Do it. That sounds fun. Let's... So right now, I mean, I'm going through emotional catastrophe because Same. of the... Like, of, like, work stress and stuff. Uh -huh. Like, I'll, I'll tell you all about it. It's, there's tons of fun stories from it. Awesome. Um, cool. Some of them are actually funny. But uh, <laughs> as soon as that's out of the way, let's like fight each other and kill each other and stuff. Well, honestly, you know, fuck that. I'm not gonna wait for that. We're, let's make time and fucking play the game. Yeah, Even yeah. though I can't hang out as much right now, but like, let's let's just do it. And then, um, yes, I want to do more Dragon Ball stuff too. Sam won't play with me. I will. <laughs> Patty, you just don't message me because you don't want to wake me. Heck you. I had fun the last time we played, actually. I've been labbing Janemba. I don't know why. What about Janemba? I don't know, he's got a sword. In his intro is him as a marshmallow falling over, and it's kind of funny, and that's why I picked him. <laughs> I think you must be confusing this game for the Final Fantasy VII Remake that is coming out on April 10th. Oh, man. There's so much. Grand Blue's coming out on Friday. I'm excited for that. I... Okay. <laughs> that was funny because one of my friends messaged me on Snapchat of all things, and they're just like, "Hey, are you getting Grand Blue?" And I'm like, "Nah, that game is way too slow for me." And he was just like, "Damn, all my other friend groups said that they don't, they're not getting Grand Blue either." Okay, bye. And like, I'm assuming he's not gonna find anyone to play with. Uh, hook me up. <laughs> Do you have something to play with? I, yeah, I can. Um, yeah, but you're not gonna laugh at Sam. Of course I'm not, because I'm going- because the problem with- You're gonna play it twice it is... and go, this game sucks. Yeah, exactly, that's why I'm not buying it. <laughs> Even though it's gonna have, like, your favorite no character of all time. It. Yeah, there's no point in me buying it, because I'll buy it, we'll have, like, a, we'll play for, like, a week. I'll end up hating myself, because I just get angry yeah, at the game. You know really like then... playing the new ones, because I don't know what I'm doing yet. I didn't in 100% honesty, I think, like, I just can't handle Arxis Netcode anymore. That's Like, totally I think I've hit this limit. Like, they seem to be just getting worse. It gets, seems to just get worse and worse with every yeah. game, and they're just, like, pushing the limit to see how much players are going to eat up. Like, it, it drives me nuts. Dragon Ball and Cross Tag were fine if you get a full bar connection. Anything other than that is unplayable. No, Dragon Ball was all right, because, like, at least you can still simulate a normal lobby eventually if you try hard enough. Kind of. Whereas, kind of, yeah. 
What was horrible was cross tag. I almost returned the game on the UI alone. It was yeah. so hard to figure out what the hell to do to just fight a friend. Yeah, that's uh. Didn't it? It's. What was the game where we had like? We had to what? What was the game we had to change like a was Steam setting? There was like a Steam setting you have to change. Cross tag. So, like, was, cross -tag. was that cross tag? What the fuck? Meanwhile, in. Dragon Ball, it's like, oh, you want to fight your friend? I'm in Lobby 17, hiding in the bush. <laughs> Come find me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Snapple, you're up. Let's go! I think Grand Blue Lobbies are more like Cross Tag, but without the Steam stuff. Because I've seen people with the dude, and they're all doing like the circle emote. And Those little, yeah, I saw the same thing when like the <laughs> online was down. Yeah, yeah, that was hilarious. Um, I respect the community, and uh, I hope that one day that it'll have acceptable netcode. Like I liked, you know what, Guilty Gear Axon Core. Its netcode was delay based, but it worked. It was straightforward. You click, you clicked like you want to match up against an opponent, and then it put you up against an opponent, and then you fought them. It was only two people. Like it was, stuff. yeah, and it wasn't perfect. But considering it's, it's something that's like just stuff. tacked on, exactly. That's what I'm trying to get at. <laughs> yeah. No, I've I've been dying to try the new DBFZ and also just get back into Tekken. But like right now, my life is gonna need some overhauling, and friendship is the only thing I'm gonna hang on to in the process. You've yeah. got. Well, first day is like a good time to hang out with friends for Dangan Werewolf. <laughs> hey, if anyone in chat wants to play Dangan Werewolf, we need people. We're desperate. We, we need people <laughs> also crank left. Yeah, because we're uh, not on stream. Oh, yeah, because he's. Yeah, yeah. So if anybody enjoys Dangan Rumpa and also uh, Werewolf Mafia, Town of Salem, um. DM me, go to my PayPal, donate seventy dollars. Um, if you donate a hundred, you'll um we'll shout out your name. It's not getting streamed, we'll just shout out your name like in the lot we'll just stream it. There we go. Oh, unfortunate. Uh I wanna see Crank's Robo. I haven't seen it yet. I've never seen papaya. So I don't know where they are. <laughs> IRL I've never seen a papaya. Yeah, I've never actually seen the papaya. I don't actually ever. know what it is. I know it from the one scene in Avatar where it shows up. Papaya. <laughs> okay, got to confirm. We'll scale, but that's all right because we're gonna reset immediately. Is that the is that the dude that um dropped it? Like, is that the dude who's like uh, car keeps getting destroyed and he's just like my papaya? No, it's cabbages, Sam. No. He goes my cabbages. Exist. They don't exist, too. You don't exist. Oh. That's oh, uh, that should have been a clean punish. Yeah, that, yeah, that should have been punished. But that's unfortunate. The crank's too clean. He didn't make it safe, but he's still clean. Yeah, we got the SPO incoming. Get the pressure. Uh, fuzzies don't work on double because she's like smaller than a heckin' tic tac when she's crouching. You know, the classic size I don't comparison. No, know if that <laughs> makes that safe, but it worked out anyway. We're Iron Man, by the way. Why? TK lasers. <laughs> Car on reaction. Pretty good. H beam quite slow. Get smack. I like the stagger. Space it. Space it. Yeah, another car. Really, you can take the cars all day because you don't get yeah. anything off the car other than the damage. Crank doing a jump in that's not jump medium punch must have been a misinput. <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Looking to get out or it just does the laser. Oh you know, if it works, it works. Whatever. I like that pause where he just stood there. I feel like he um, didn't realize that would work. <laughs> if you confirm off stand hard kick, it works. Oh. Alright. Tick throw. That should be dead. Yay. Look at Crank actually like do stuff.
better hurry sign in and make that lobby and be playing those matches. Or yeah, we're about banned. done with round one here. So, uh, you know, if you haven't played Doctor Doctor and Variant slash Sign In of Papaya, if you haven't played yet, um, that's a problem. Yeah, so... you better be fucking playing, or we're gonna ban you. <laughs> We're not. We're not actually gonna ban you, Discord. We're gonna ban you. Not actually gonna ban you. <laughs> we're gonna ban them. Right, run forward I'll ban HP. Them. We kind of just gotta hold that. That's a punish. That's a, a overhead. Didn't get the jump. That's unfortunate. Happy birthday. Hey. So the makes double fall out. With the mix back into the corner. Blip. Didn't quite get the full charge, but you get it there, so it doesn't matter. Hey, Dre, he may not be doing the optimal Karno combo, but at least he's winning his matches. Got a point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean I'm sorry. I'll counter an H beam. That doesn't work. That's my one problem with H beam. You can just low profile. It's like an NRS high. Right, we got up forwards. All right, that. Don't know how that didn't. Okay. I think I have a splinter in my pinky. <laughs> Maybe that's why you're dying. That's probably it. How did I do that? Um, you just wanted to pet a tree. <laughs> I haven't touched wood in like months. <laughs> Man. What's a wood? Is your house like made of plastic? Yeah. My house isn't made oh. of wood! There's gotta be wood parts in it somewhere. Yeah, but do you think I'm touching it? <laughs> like tables? That's not the house! Yeah, but the, you might like, is your table made of wood? I haven't touched a table. Wait, what the fuck is your computer on? A desk that's not wood. What's it, is it like plastic or metal? Yeah. Just like plastic. Uh, it ain't wood, that's for sure. There's gotta be something wooden that you've been touching. I like ain't been touching nothing. Table. Dinner table? No, don't eat on that. We eat on the couch. Because we avoid contact with each other. <laughs> That's fine, we don't have a- we don't even have a dinner table. <laughs> we have two, and we don't use either. <laughs> no, we have wow. three. Yeah, three. Wow, three opportunities to talk to each other and you're like, nah. <laughs> yeah, we don't do any of that, we just- my parents watch murder shows on TV. My nanny also does that during <laughs> dinner. <laughs> You break through the tears. I'm liking it. I almost had to confirm me. I run up, crash hard punch. Unfor oh, that's not safe, but the tears are gonna explode. That's awkward. Should have just like brass. It could have just SF stayed, really. Yeah. Oh, that ain't safe, especially against Parasol, because a uh, big old button. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we got the hit! Oh, and the snipe confirmed. Tear would have whiffed. Ah, uh, crank. That was that was a good confirm by Snapple. Um, I was gonna say something. I don't remember what it is now. Is it tell crank to get better? No. Mm. I'm proud of how crank's doing. Crank's relearning. You know again, what? And that's hard you to do. You know what? You're wrong. I, a lot of people go through a phase where they just have to relearn the game. Like once they sit down and go, "I'm actually getting good at this." You have to learn it again from the ground up. That sounds boring. It's hard. It's really hard. That sounds really boring, I'll be honest. I did it. Crank's doing it. I know a bunch yeah, of people I... that have done it. I bet they didn't enjoy it. Oh, I had a great time. Yeah, but you, you're a... What is it, sadist? I didn't have a... Masochist. Masochist. It's very different. Masochist. Yeah, I know. They're the oh. two opposites of each other. Um... No, the, that... But it wasn't fun because I was losing. It was fun because I was learning... The intricacy, the in intricacy, the point of the game, <laughs> <laughs> the small things. That was fun. Even if I was losing, I was understanding what was happening, and that was awesome. Fair enough. So, if you ever, people in chat, if you ever feel like, uh, oh, yep, gotta watch from the Yugurt side. If you ever feel like you've plateaued, you don't know where to go, just try learning the game again. What if you know everything uh, about the game? Nobody knows everything about the game. But if you're a god like me... They don't exist. 
Even right, the people that are sure. like winning majors and stuff, they don't. No one's at that point yet. Fun fact Parasol cannot punish Light Meme. In case anyone was wondering. Penny! Mm <laughs> hmm. You can't say that! What? You're giving Crank advice! Crank? isn't here. <laughs> he is in spirit. And I did nothing last time but like give dry eyes advice. Kind of. Okay. Fair enough. But Crank's a host! It's collusion! <laughs> the real collusion is that I let him play second. <laughs> Why is that the real collusion? <laughs> because they were first on the bracket. <laughs> oh, okay. You <laughs> needed to get some practice. Yeah. <laughs> he needed to get his practice. But it's not <laughs> actually collusion because he didn't actually get any, so... Alright. Oh, Alright, just do it. Heck. Buttons. I think you'd be hoping that they'd still be pressing buttons for Crash here. No. Isn't failed oh. attempt at collusion sadder? Yeah, probably. You should have known I got the black belt. <laughs> I'm tired, I don't know. <laughs> Is Sinoon vs. Papaya happening, by the way? Sinoon was saying he was making a lobby. Nice. It's just he couldn't find Papaya for a while there, but they, they eventually said hi. Where did you finish? Ah. Wow, it just finished. Whoa. Also, um, Dry Trap and Papaya, make sure you're doing your match. <laughs> It get just finished! <laughs> yeah, get that out of the way! Sam, it's been done! <laughs> no, it hasn't. I'm talking about Dry Trap and Papaya, not signing the Papaya. It's done! No, it's not. <laughs> it's over, it's been over for years. <laughs> Any tired? I'm very tired. Ah. Snap! Oh. Right, iframes on SPO says heck you to C slide. If anyone else heard me say that sentence, they'd think I was insane. <laughs> I don't even know what you meant. Iframes on SPO saved you from C slide, you know. Rooting against Crank so he gets back on. I don't blame you. I am a I garbage human fight. being. <laughs> even in C slide. <laughs> That's silly a slide. Double silly slide. slide. Oh, that's the double slide. Yeah. Ah. I think it's the only slide in the game other than Robo Crash. Alexa! Stop! I guess you can make an argument for Eliza Boat, but. <coughs> Eliza Boat's pretty good. It's not a slide, though. Yeah, you it's can not make really an slide. argument, but. They, they slip more than slide. No, that's a children's toy from 1980. No, that's a slip and slide. <laughs> I had one of those. Or, oh, slip or slide. <laughs> like, you just you get to, like, the start of it, and it gives you, like, a choice. Yeah. And you either trip or... Trip. <laughs> you either trip or fall over. Yeah. Your choice. Hi, welcome to, like, I bet you guys wish Crank was here instead of me. <laughs> Oh, so you're not an awful human being, Penny. You're I didn't say awful, I said garbage. Oh, okay, you're not a garbage <laughs> human being because you're not even a, a human being. <laughs> what does that mean? It means you're not a human being. I'm not a being of any kind. I mean, you may, you could consider yourself a lesbian. I'm from whence I came. Wow, welcome. Thanks. Frank, are, you, are you a lesbian? Probably. Don't. We're all lesbians. Lesbians? Yeah. Because, because Penny's not a human being. And she said she wasn't any type of being, but she lies. Not a being. Yeah, Snipe Hello was super fun. GG's. <laughs> Play more sets. Hit me yeah. up sometime. Bean. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> hey, look, it's time for round two. If you're in losers. SOBs. I do. I respect that. Everyone should be SOBs. <laughs> If you're in losers, make sure to play your matches. You're not on stream till round three. Um, where am I? <laughs>
So to make sure dry trap and papaya do your matches, Dr. Doctor and Snap will do your matches. Thanks. If you don't, you're getting banned. Who's next then? My glasses are off. Uh next is uh we'll do, Hydra, we'll do Hydra and Signing and it's very infant crank. Okay. I, I trust. I can you. dig it. Sam, we gotta stop ban like threatening to ban people. Why? <laughs> it's mean. Is it? No. Like I, I it's like, like one. It's like you do it like just off. You like actually follow up on that threat like just often enough where it's like you never know. Is Sam actually <laughs> a bully fun. or is Sam joking? I never bond anyone. In You've the done it all the time. It's only for a second. <laughs> it's like just for a second for a joke. I don't do it like the Kenji way where it's like a full three hundred seconds. Yeah, Kenji goes all out. Kenji's just like, yeah. you give me the power, I'm gonna purge. Uh, Slimy vs. Hydra is up first on stream. Oh, pan you crack. <laughs> Tell me I'm bad. How dare you? Sam, you're a bully. I'm not a bully. <laughs> I'm a maniac. <laughs> I'm not a bully. I'm an unhinged psychopath. Very different. Very. At least know what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I was just. <laughs> there's a big difference between bullies and unhinged psychopaths. Bullies don't know what they're doing. <laughs> go on, headless, right away. Let's go. So what did you guys talk about while my set was going on? Uh, like, were you talking nice. about lesbians? Tekken? Well, I oh, lesbians. casted. Oh, you casted? What? Hopefully yeah. the wrong game. She tried to cast. I, I didn't tried. let her. I'm very tired. I tried my best. Why did you try to cast, Vogue? Because... We kept judging you, Vogue, for it your... It was Crank's match. I didn't judge. Yes, she did. You didn't? You should. She did. Not like I did with, uh... Dry Trap. Okay, maybe not as hard as Dry Trap, but you still judged. That counter hit pop. Also, um, what was it? Uh, Dry was talking um, shit about you earlier, Frank. Or they were like, you're not, you're not even doing the optimal corner like B and B. And we're sitting, and I'm sitting there going like, well, at least he's winning his matches. Damn, savage. Fucking, what I'm not, heck? I'm not a bully. <laughs> I swear. After no, I'm. Optimal corner for a Robo, probably. Um, the squiggly optimal corner, I'm the one that made it. And yeah, I know I'm not using it, but that's because I have Atrium Assist and I can just save a meter instead. Robo optimal. Save seven. Crank could do his optimal corners, he just doesn't want to. Like three or four Pretty much. Center. It's fun. What does it say? The Robo optimal corner has like four H beams in it and it's really fun. <laughs> the beam loop corner combos are really, really cool. Yeah. Can't do them yet. I actually cannot do those yet. I believe in you. You shouldn't. I'm, I'm <laughs> oh, maybe you should, my, and then see me in this game. Yeah, right. I don't... There's really <clears throat> no headless resources out there, so I'm kind of just going from scratch. Yeah. I don't right. think people really realize what headless can do. Just like how there's not many squiggly resources that are reliable, because no one yeah. really knows. Actually, that's a lie. Everyone just knows that squiggly can't do anything. That's okay. But the, I think the difference is, I think Headless could actually be like one of the best characters in the game. And mm -hmm. Squiggly, Squiggly. That's always been theoretical. Like, everyone always talks about how Headless, like, on paper is so good, but it always ends up backfiring in the worst way. I think it's just because people don't utilize it. And I'm gonna say that, and I'm not gonna even come close to utilizing it, so I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> But, we'll I mean, you, but you just You'll said find a way to break it. Not, what, wait, you did say something, heck you. <laughs> but I'll say that, that there's, there's, because Headless does well normally, and then the two reasons I can think of is it's low-key broken, it's just not full potential, or nobody has the matchup experience. And the fact that it's not winning majors makes me think it's the matchup experience one. <laughs> but the other one could work too. What am I saying? You're saying, um... Did I have a point? I think I followed. <laughs> I made some. That's it. Alright, well, it, as long as someone followed, because I did. Yeah, that's fine. I may just hang out with you enough. I find it I find it hard to, like, follow, but, like, you were basically saying that, like, it's good. 
Can someone play the Kyle theme? Oh, no, no, nope. never mind. Those first go. baits are not the greatest of ideas there. <laughs> they do not work in your favor if they don't work. That's usually how they work. Not true. That's not true. <laughs> lots of That's why I keep doing burst baits, because you keep pressure afterwards if they don't burst. Yeah. It's kind of dumb. There's there's good why, burst baits. You slowly in move backwards, and inevitably I will escape after taking <laughs> unfair amounts of dumb damage. True. And even the bad burst parasol has real safe jumps anyway, so it don't matter. Jeez. Now, I think the greatest secret of Headless Fortune that people don't utilize enough is, uh, Light Punch. And I'm not even saying it is like a joke, because I see actual Fortune so, players mash Light Punch out of everything, and mm -hmm. I never see Headless so, players do it. Light Punch is godlike, the only problem is, is that, um, it's almost it, impossible to convert off of on reaction, even with both hits. That's from me talking to PME and... That's what uh, the head's the for. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but then you instantly scale your combo, now you're do not doing optimal headless. You don't need damage, you just reset immediately. Uh, Easy game. But then you have to confirm Anytime it. Anytime I do that, I get yelled at, <laughs> saying that that's a horrible thing to do, and I just well, yeah, need that habit out of me. <laughs> All right. I'm sitting there like going like, but Penny, the whole point was to hit confirm. If you're resetting, then you're not, then you have to hit confirm again. <laughs> no, no, you don't. You don't. Uh, huh. You don't. Well, if you get a reset, then you can put yourself into a setup that makes it that's easier to hit confirm than off of standing light punch. There are plenty of other moves that make it way easier. Um, so I mean, what Penny says has legitimacy. Like you unscale it with a reset instantly, like first or second string, and then just kind of go for something much, much better with headless. Uh, the only problem is, is then you're giving your opponent an extra chance, and unless you have subplate designed around it, it's like not great. I think that's the. I think she could have really good set play around it, though. I think headless resets could be just the the idea of headless resets are the same idea of why peacock resets are so good, and it's that she's able to move and block and be completely safe while still forcing you to block something, which is really. I gross. feel like it's an unfair comparison. <laughs> Mean? Peacock resets are safe is because after you block the reset, there are three back-to-back -back other resets that you have to block. No, and I mean, they're like, like they're legitimate mix-ups too. Fortune is just like her resets are unreactable, so sometimes you get a touch with Fortune and you just win, and that's why Headless, in my opinion, is really really good because you get multiple chances. Oh wait, you know what? I guess I'm kind of seeing what you mean by the Peacock thing because you do have the item drop resets are the, what I'm saying because item drop resets are completely yeah. unmashable just because she's blocking whatever you do anyway. Yeah. What I'm saying as is... As far as I know, there's no way to give the... There's... Oh, as far as I know, there's no way to give the head invulnerability, though. I guess it doesn't matter too much. If they're out of do a lot head. of damage with just that. The head still has hit stop when you hit it. So if they're hitting your head, you can still just hit them. True. Oh, is that enough? No! Maybe you can break this game with Headless Fortune. I think I could do it in theory. I just need to play the game. Do it. And I also would be very unsurprised if I didn't, because I'm bad at games. But, you know. What? In theory, I see it. You said I'd be surprised if I didn't. Cause yeah, I'd also be. I, I would not be surprised if I didn't. Oh, you wouldn't be. Okay, no. that's why I was confused. It was like, wait, you're just contradicting your statement. No, there. I'd be. I am not expecting to break anything. No. Nah. But I think in theory it could be absolutely busted. Well, then you should do it. Yeah. <laughs> go go break the game. Yeah. Speaking hey. of breaking, it's Varian's turn to break my bones. Hey. But what if you have no bones to break? Oh, it's another Parasol player. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, he's, what, Varian? Yeah, Crank gets to fight all the Parasols. Dope. Also, I... I'm gonna shout at Crank when he comes back. <laughs> <laughs> Crank's always just like, I would prefer if you leave the lobby, you never left the lobby, the reset score. Yeah. 
Where we're going, it don't matter. I don't I'm care. Gonna, I'm gonna smack him when he, I'm gonna ban him. Very him. Is it zero zero, which means we can figure it out easy. It's fine. Yeah, we can we can figure it from variants, but you know, it's crank, fine. Crank's a problem here. It's not. <laughs> it is a problem. It's an annoyance. It's an inconvenience. And honestly, my life is filled with too many inconveniences. Yeah, it's a mood. Yeah. <laughs> like living. Exactly. Now you're under. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Oh, Ram, start dash up grab. That's I that's my jam. In, into happy birthday, into drop. Kind of. That route doesn't work on both characters, especially when they're that different sizes. What are you talking about? Squiggly's fucking huge. <laughs> no, Van's just too tiny. Oh yeah, no, you're you're right. Get the left, right. Totally mashable. Craig keeps saying it's not mashable, but I've mashed pillar out of it every time. I don't care. <laughs> he keeps getting hit, so I'm gonna keep care. doing it. If it's not mashable, Crank, you wouldn't get hit by it. I, I think it is unmashable, he's just doing the setup a little wrong. Mm. And he's been practicing a lot, so it's very possible he's doing it right now when it is unmashable. But back in the day, I mashed. <laughs> and by him. mashed, I mean uh, pillared, which you can't mash. But I mashed. So you were bad. You ever been like you ever tick throw somebody with the hit stun of the enemy's tier? No. So that's what he just did. <laughs> <laughs> that's net. That's big brain. Yeah, he's, learning from, he's learning from Kenji. Alright, this should be a dead parcel. Didn't use that much on Dizzy either. Four bars on band. It's a pain wheel on incoming, which isn't the greatest for pain wheel. I think Crank was expecting buttons there. Yeah, mistimed the uh, incoming too. This could be dead. Oh. Right. <laughs> Ooh, damn fun. Oh. Armor through the symbols, kind of allowed to. Very hard to space out a pain wheel like that. I think that was a good character. <laughs> I mean, no. No. <laughs> if you're gonna use a. Big buttons are good against Pain Wheel, unless they're slow. Because then she just armors them, and you're sad. So, what I'm saying is be Parasol. <laughs> Parasol's bad. Nah. What? Don't like She ain't Parasol. good. She ain't Gives bad, but she ain't good. Gives me PTSD. I mean, she's good, but she's not. She ain't um, Peacock or Double. I'll tell you that. So, what you're saying is that people shouldn't play her? That's definitely not what I'm saying. I'll tell nah, you that if you play good. Squiggly, you're paying real easy. <laughs> nope. Okay. Uh, Robo hit the bikes. No, oh, because Crank was talking about because Crank was talking about it earlier. Um, we haven't actually played Tekken in ages. I like Tekken. Tekken's all right. I felt like no one else was having fun when we played Tekken though. Because you played that character that nobody could figure out what the heck you were doing. I, you said that no matter what character I played. Exactly. You didn't like playing against <laughs> Nina. You didn't like playing against Lily. You didn't like playing against Leroy. You didn't like playing against. Well, Leroy, you can understand. <laughs> uh, it didn't matter what I picked, Sam. I tried. I played like everyone. And by everyone, I mean all the females, because that's all I care about. And Leroy. Uh, Sugar's a girl that counts. I suppose. <laughs> I don't know if Sugar's a girl or not. I think Sugar is a girl. Uh, I'll take it. I think I think he has said, like, um, like he said her before. Yeah, I'll take it. Um, sure. Oh, okay. I can see the logic there. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't have done it. I, I see what you're doing, but that was two bars. It's a questionable one. 
The logic is there, but... I like the Why? idea that it was just probably a better execution. Not that that was the bad execution, but it was just mm. probably a better one, you know. Okay. Yep. Hey, you guys okay. want my uh, Skullgirls hot take of the day? What? Ground grabs are the worst thing in this game. I mean... They're so bad. There's never I a mean... reason to use a ground grab. There's never a reason to use a ground grab. If they're dying backing, then go overhead. <laughs> but if they're dying backing, go they overhead. Can't tech it. They can't tech it. And overhead is more reactable. It's not. Depending on the character. Most characters have a really fast overhead. And even if they don't, you can keep pressure and keep going that way. Ground grabs give you very little reward because they're scaled to heck and huge risk because if they jump, you die and get heavy counter hit. There's, you could just have pressure. Uh, doubles overhead's actually, unironically, doubles overhead is really good. TK barrel is unreactable. Barrel is pretty fast. <laughs> even if your character doesn't have an instant overhead. It, even if it's not instant, right? Most characters have a way to go overhead quickly. And even if they don't, can't think of any off the top of my head because I'm very tired, and I could probably do it if I was actually sober. Um, so, wait, are you, have you been drinking? <laughs> I've been drinking life. Um, oh, even if you don't have a quick overhead, keeping pressure is still better for you than a ground grab. Keeping pressure is 100% safe and gives you more places to mix them up, and it's not a coin flip that you get very little off of if you're right. Don't, don't do ground grabs. The heck it suck. Air grabs are fine. Air grabs are whatever. There's true mix-ups between burst baits and air grabs. But what if you like grabbing? Use command grabs. <laughs> but what if you don't have a command grab? <laughs> Stop grabbing. <laughs> oh. Do air grabs. That was a clean kill from Crank. <laughs> can't neutral jump an air grab, you know? I mean... You can, you can just tech it. That's not a neutral jump. Because the reason... You can also just tech a ground grab, but that's good for you. But if they neutral jump on the ground, you get heavy counter hit. You can't do that if they're in the air. So they have to tech it. Which is good for you. That's why the air grabs are alright even though the ground grabs are bad. Welcome to Penny Skullgirls Theory, where stop doing ground grabs. Uh, I saw a question in chat about losers. Losers round 2 is off stream, round 3 is on stream. So, round 2 is going to be off stream. What? Why was I getting shouted off for Sam? Because I was too busy talking about ground grabs and why they suck. Oh, okay. Don't do ground grabs. Is there a character without an overhead mix-up? Yes. Name. Big Bam. That is not true. <laughs> he has instant air jump medium kick. Peacock. IAD normals. Double. TK barrel. Fukua. You fested me. <laughs> a shadow you can make an argument for, but not really. No, Fukua doesn't really have one. But she has command grabs, so she doesn't need ground grabs anyway. So she just does the normal grab. <laughs> she has a... Uh... Command grabs though, and shadow. Very pressure. slow command grab. Okay, actually, Fuku has really good overhead pressure if you already have a shadow held, like if you have a setup for it. Then it's really scary because you have to eat an overhead and a low at the same time against one character. But she has to have the setup for that. Fuku is not a good character, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Who else? Give me some more. Who doesn't have overheads? Um... Parasol. Uh, you know that's wrong. Lies. Parasol has the fastest overhead in the game. Impossible. Peacock overheads are IAD normals. 
IAD jump medium punch is basically unreactable. Beowulf. Don't talk to me again. <laughs> His dash are overheads. <laughs> yeah, it's dumb. Eliza. Don't talk to me again. <laughs> <laughs> Wiggly. Or hard punch. So bad. It's not. It's really good. So, so bad. It's one of her best moves. Maybe. Here's my other Skullgirls hot take. I don't think Bayo's as good as people say he is. I also don't play against a lot of good Bayo's. I played against Rattle way back in the day. But that's when he was not even close to as good as he is now. He also just always has trouble with Parasone. So yeah, he also know. has the issue with Parasone matchups. I could probably take games off of Rattle just because he doesn't really know the matchup. Because nobody plays Parasol? Nobody plays Parasol correctly. Well. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. I'm not Be saying cocky. I play it correctly. Be cocky, Penny. No, 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 no. I'm not saying I play it correctly. I know how to play her correctly in theory. My execution is very different than that. I'm not saying I'm good at this game. I don't want anyone to get the misconception that I'm somewhat decent at this game. I mean, you are, folks. <laughs> I've already, I've, I already have the the idea in my head, Penny. <laughs> And I think a lot of other people do too. I think you failed in your mission there. <laughs> no, I'm heckin' bad at this game. But, um, and I've had this talk with Kenji. I think there's only like two or three people that are actually good at Skullgirls. <laughs> Kenji's not one of them. Yeah, I think we actually came to that conclusion. So <laughs> It's very well, hard to be good at this game. He's the best Skullgirls player in the game, in the world. <laughs> Right now, the Skullgirls players that are doing really well uh, are the ones that are able to take advantage of spaghetti. Like, the the best skill you can have in this game is adaptation to spaghetti, because it happens all the time. I adaptable argue as a player. <laughs> but that's not really being good at Skullgirls either, you know? And... You're not playing Skullgirls, you're playing... Starcraft. Spaghetti. I'm very tired. I like playing spaghetti. I, my point was, I'm not good at this game, but I have hot takes. Yeah, the Skullgirls plays that are doing really well play Dragon Ball, basically. And Graham takes a tree too. After you play Skullgirls, Dragon Ball's heckin' easy. It's really funny how easy it is. Eh. <laughs> In theory, it's really easy. Because I can say it's easy and then fight Sage, and Sage is going to beat me every time and I'll never take a game. But I'm still going to say, in theory, it's easy. Yeah, you want to talk to me about MK? I, I grew up with MKX, alright? My fighting game debut was MKX. I, fought, I was doing sets with the top people. I was... Ooh, I like MKX. <laughs> <laughs> MKX has my favorite fighting game mechanic ever. Which is dash cancel. The, the running and the dash canceling is so fun and so cool. I hate dash canceling. You never played a character with it. I hate dash canceling. <laughs> you need to be quick so it gets back on comp. I like to of think what I'm talking about me. now is more interesting than just dying like I was before. But I can see how it's not. I'll stop it's also talking. not about Skullgirls, which is good. See, I'm the other way around. I really like MKX. I don't like Eleven that much. Every time I load up Eleven, I'm like, man, I wish this was X. Also, I will ban you, Dr. Doctor. <laughs> How dare you shit on Penny even though you just said that you were? <laughs> I'm upset that you're not doing that, Dr. Doctor. I deserve it. <laughs> Incorrect. Also, heck. Heck, MK. MK's heckin' good. Game. You liked MKX. I do, but I, it's a bad game. <laughs> MKX is probably the game you were best at. I'm I'll say it, you were good at MKX. <laughs> I'll say it. You understood MKX. Don't think it did. <laughs> yeah, you did. 
I think it was just getting fake. <laughs> you knew you knew how pressure worked. Yes. You knew how my pressure worked for the most part. You understood Stupid. how to get out of it when there was gaps. Stupid fucking bug. <laughs> uh-huh. Hate the fuck. But you understood bug. the counterplay. I understood, I just didn't like it. Yeah, I mean that's fair, but I'm saying you understood the game. Fair enough. Step one to getting good as a game is to understand it. What's the eh? Hit me with the eh. What's the eh say? It's a game. Um, Hey, next on stream is Variant vs. Hydra. If you guys want to go in here while I fight with Sam. But it's it's just an annoying. Why is it annoying? How was understanding MKX? It was annoying. You liked it. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Did you have a family I'm... member come over and you beat the heck out of him and you're like, that was great? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not that I'm aware of. I swear I remember you telling me this story. No. Um... It was like one of your uncle's friends or boyfriends or something. No, it's my. it was my cousin's boyfriend, but we haven't fought yet. Oh. They just... They, they, they don't bother her. <laughs> MKX was a good game. I eh. enjoyed it. It was good. I think my biggest problem with 11 is how the meter works. I really don't like that. What, do with attack and defense? Yeah. I mean, they've just now recently, like, kind of overhauled the game. And now the defensive meter is a lot less strong. So I might go back to it and see how it is, but... But my defense. When, my when defense you were playing options. MKX, mm-hmm. and again, this is why one of my favorite mechanics is the run meter. A combo breaker was a huge risk for the person getting hit. Because the combo breaker meant that you were giving up two bars, which was two EX moves, which were really heckin' strong, depending on your character. And you were giving up the entirety of your run meter, which meant you were forced back into neutral, but unable to pressure the other person. Because they were fucking screaming. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there was a huge. There was definite reasons to say I have two bars. They're hitting me. I'm not going to break because that would hurt me more. <laughs> yeah. In MK11, every time you got hit, you just used the Fallout thing, and it was fine. And you, there's nothing they could do about it. And you, <laughs> it was really stupid. There was no downside, and it came up every four seconds. Yeah, just the fucking, what do you call it? Like the air tech fucking, fallout armor looking. The, like Aquaman passive. <laughs> yeah, it's really stupid. X was so good. Um, Baryanth versus Hydra. I thought I said that. Maybe I didn't. I thought I yes, said that. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Baryanth was just deaf. Yeah, right. What I'm saying is go play in KX. It's a good game. It's just like Skullgirls 2 and the fact that Every character is super competitively viable. Every variation is competitively viable. Which is except, cool. Um, except Jason. No, they were really good Jason players. No, I, I know Jason was such a good yeah. <laughs> I mean, none of them played Slasher, but Slasher wasn't bad. But my disjointed button. <laughs> Yeah, but the other one was like the 8 frame mid that ticked through. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Fucking just fall on himself at you. Yeah. That string was hilarious. What's that? I'm fucking like, ha- like near full screen. I'll just be there in a few seconds. <laughs> Tech throws were fun in that game, though I didn't like the input for the grab. <laughs> No, grab and puts in NRS games are stupid. Down, back, forward. <laughs> I will totally give you and that. that. And some characters like... had two that was also down, forward, back. And like, um, it's like when you hear that, it's like, ah, oh, that doesn't sound too bad. But with like high NRS games are done with like, there's no like quarter circle inputs like properly. <laughs> yeah. It's all like down and forward. Mixed with, um... You have to do it fast. 
yeah, you have to do it fast to get the cancel, because if you do it too slow, then you don't get your cancel. Just the cancel window, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, it's more annoying than it sounds to anybody who's hearing that. <laughs> there were shortcuts, depending on it. Like, if you used, did it down one and do a command grab, it was easy. Yeah, because I you love could that do one. Down one and then back forward in your button, but. Yeah, that felt really nice. Yeah, that was. It just felt so smooth. Yeah, I did not play NRS on stick. I tried to play NRS on stick after I got my fight stick for Skullgirls. And I, I could not. No way am I played. It's probably why when Granblue comes out on Friday, I'm going to use a pad in that game too, because it has a block button. That... So oh, it's okay. going to feel really NRS. Which is another reason I'm excited. It's anime NRS. Yeah, it looks slow, which I like. <laughs> I'm really hype about Grand Blue. There's also a lot of characters I'd like. There's Sam's Dream Girl. <laughs> and I'm not <laughs> saying that as a joke. I feel like Sam would really like this character. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I've watched some of her gameplay. She likes the... She's just cool. Yeah, everything like about that character I think you'd enjoy. I also like the look of the Murder Kaiser dude. Yeah. But it's, he can't... Even Swago would have a character, like the dude that does the circle thing with his face. It's like four of them, he's got... just a meme. There's like four of them? Yeah, he clones himself or some junk, and he's just a meme. Is that the... Is that the... Is that like the cat dude that there's like three of them? Yeah. And like he picks himself up? No, that's... That's not him cloning himself, that's his brothers. Yeah, right. Well, that's even better. <laughs> I don't know no, anything like, about Grand Blue, I'll be honest. No, I, I like I just watched a few bit of gameplay. Basically they're like free brothers, so they are they're like they're like servants of people. They also have like a like a finale like a super that they come in the day, like when they're really low on health. Which is they summon Nick Dristle, which is a giant oh, yeah, goddess. I've seen that. <laughs> um the, the thing is, Doctor Doctor, I would agree with you. Um I'd say MKX was my first fighting game, but Skullgirls was my first serious fighting game. I didn't try actually getting good at MKX till after I played a bunch of Skullgirls. And I think even now, in theory, the mechanics of MKX, just in theory, are still so good. Playing it is weird because the block button's really strange if you're not used to it. There's a lot of strange stuff where people are like, I don't like that, and I'm like, that's totally understandable. Um, because NRS. Uh, used to be Netcode was one of the biggest complaints, but then they actually switched to GGPO, which was awesome. But heckin' the run bar is such a smart mechanic. Marvel Three is fun too. I would probably never play it in tournament, but holy heck, is that not one of the most fun games to push buttons in? Everything feels so nice. I don't like the Phoenix Rate is low tier though. Movement feels so smooth when you're doing like triangle dashes and junk. I think so satisfying in that game. But heck, that would suck to play competitively. That's like Skullgirls on another level. Who needs resets? Mm. When you get hit, you're just dead. What the? <laughs> and if you're not playing with the, the three viable characters, you're trolling. <laughs> no, Marvel 3 wasn't like that. Marvel 2 was like I that. I thought it, like, it didn't really have a diverse meta. Uh, there was definitely a diverse meta. It was not like Skullgirls, where in Skullgirls you can say, I like these two characters and make it work. If mm -hmm. you wanted to play a team in Marvel, or if you wanted to play a character in Marvel, you could do it, but you had to have your team built around them. Mm. Like, if you were a Phoenix Wright player, you didn't play anyone else. You played a team that enabled Phoenix Wright. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I always thought like Magneto and Doctor Doom were, were like the meta characters. Oh, they're that they're like the double of this game where they're just solid characters. So you put them on any team. That was hilarious. Oh, okay, that was fucking funny. Hey, yeah, you want to talk about four frame throws? <laughs> <laughs> I hated Power Rangers. I tried playing Power Rangers. My brother wanted me to learn it. I couldn't do it. That game feels so weird. Feels like a mobile game. But the Rhino Girl! <laughs> Genuinely, the fan Sonic fighting game felt better to play than the Power Ranger game. <laughs> oh, but what about footsies? 
Okay, Footsies was awesome. Footsies is also one of the best fighting games I've ever played. <laughs> I'm saying that unironically. If you guys haven't seen Footsies, it's like a free two-player, like, game. Oh, it's so good. Everything's a touch of death because one hit kills you and you just play footsies. It's so good. Go go play footsies. It's just, it's, it's just about like who can get their hittings correctly. Yeah. It is such a good game. It's like dive kick, but it feels more like an actual fighting game. I hate dive kick. I hate dive kick. I love dive kick. I think the only reason I hate dive kick is because of my first experience with it, which is my That's friends what? were playing it um, drunk in a hotel room at 3 a.m. screaming their faces off. Ah. But still don't like playing it. <laughs> Fair enough. Fighting game genre has yet to catch up the dive kick. Yep. I hate dive kick. The best thing about dive kick is that even to navigate the menus, you only have the two buttons. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> they committed. Because if you're going to do that, you have to commit, you know? How There's many people the... do you think are watching this with the sound off? It's probably uh, most of no. them. <laughs> no. There's also the um, the official dive kick controller, which I love, which is a two giant yeah. button on a box. I'm so tired. <laughs> oh, okay. Also, I don't think anybody's muted because, like, they wouldn't. They wouldn't. They just wouldn't. No, this stream would probably be a lot better if you turned off the sound. No. <laughs> Nah. I'd be more surprised if people had volume on. Just every once in a while you pop in the and chat they, to say, hey, who's up? But then they, like, watch the stream. I'm gonna start putting a text document up so you don't even have to unmute it. <laughs> it's just like you, like, did a transcript of everything yeah, you say. Yeah, I'll just type it all out. Like, We're gonna be, like, the Club Penguin Hypercam 2 tutorial. It's just gonna start going... Start playing like the tutorial music of like, yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna pixelate it super hard on purpose. <laughs> you better put like the hypercam thing like in the corner. Oh, yeah. And then on top of that, the fraps counter. <laughs> Bandicam.com in the middle. Yeah. Edited by ABS Studio. <laughs> and before the stream starts, we're gonna have um, an intro that's really, really low quality Bleach and Naruto clips to Lincoln Park. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Made in Windows Movie Maker. <laughs> yeah. Is that what you did? <laughs> it's not far off, I'll be honest. <laughs> I think my intro had Naruto and Bleach in it to it might have been Nickelback. And I didn't even watch Bleach. Neither did. My uncle watched Bleach. I don't know if he's like still likes it it's just one of those things you just watch because it was there <laughs> all right incredible penny welcome to the part of the stream where we sit here and wait for loser to catch up we um, wait for the loser crank hey we're just here now dope assuming crank loses this you all get a better stream experience because there'll be someone else uh in the call <laughs> to talk about skullgirls <laughs> What are you talking about? I'm already here. This is like the best exchange you're gonna get. <laughs> she silent me. <laughs> I'm tired. But very if you have to win first. Crying. Why are you so slow? We're just chilling now. Alright, okay, so time for a good old game of rock, paper, scissors. Are you ready, Penny? Yo, I played the heck out of competitive Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> Yo, I loved competitive Yu Gi Oh! That was my jam. I'd still do it if, like, I had a scene around me. That game's fun as heck. By the way, do you know what you call those new cards? The ones I was. I have no idea. Today? They were announced, like, yesterday. They're still Japanese cards. Yu Gi Oh! Card. How do you see when new cards are out? Uh, I got a subreddit. Every Yu -Gi -Oh. once in a blue moon. Reddit. Yu Gi Oh! is heck of fun. I still play Yu Gi Oh! Heck, Yu -Gi -Oh. Yu Gi Oh! is a fun game. That game is not a children's game. That game is ridiculously complicated. Hey, this card has a semicolon in it. That means 17 different things you have to know because there's a semicolon. 
crank loose? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> That's the best way to put it, Dr. Doctor. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! is the Marvel 3 of card games. <laughs> But he dies yeah, in one turn. Two two. Crank. One dies in one turn? Yeah. Oh. It's just like Marvel. Nice. Crank. What's up, Sam? Yeah? Can you can you speak Japanese? I can I can speak weeb a little bit. Cause cause I need you to tell me like what what are these called? <laughs> these are the new cards and I want them. <laughs> Sam being able to wait. Yeah, Sam, being able to speak Japanese and read Japanese are two very different things. Can you speak can, it? Can, you, can, you, you can you can read it, right? Yeah, good, go. It's also like Romanji versus Kanji and shit. Like, man, what are you doing to me? I'm telling you to read that. <laughs> I spent the whole time talking about my Skullgirls hot takes. Like what? Hi. Ground grabbing sucks. <laughs> I spent forever on that. Yeah, Pleasure's been saying that for like four years. Three years, three and a half years, something like that. It's been a long time since Pleasure's been saying that. I don't know. I'm tired. I don't even remember what I was saying 15 minutes ago. Hmm. All right, I figured out their names. They're called the they're called Murphys. But variant, you have a strong point. So when we play with our friends, we just don't use hand traps, and it's still fun. <laughs> It's great. Uh, sign in and dry trap is on stream. What? Are you sure you didn't even use it once against Sam? Don't use hand traps against Sam. We just don't put them in our decks. Because those things second hmm. suck. So, I I'm reading some of their effects, Penny. They seem to be like based on like if your opponent summons stuff. That's kind of cool. If your opponent Nemo or special summons a monster, or this card is targeted for an attack by an opponent's monster, you can return the card to the hand. Then you can add one beast monster from your deck to your hand. Yeah, I took a breaker on Spirals too, but I I hate playing, because playing competitive, at least back then, I don't know what it is now, but at least back then, if you were to play competitive Yu-Gi-Oh!, you were building 37 card decks, because you always ran three called by the grave. And it's really oh. annoying. Penny. My, my jam is chain the, beat. I lived for chain beat. They all have the effect of during your end phase, you can just special summon it like onto the field. <laughs> so the idea is that they get summoned at the end of your turn, and then if your opponent tries to do something, they just get picked back into your hand and you get more cards. Is Spiral still tier one? I haven't paid attention to competitive Yu Gi Oh! in forever. Because um, when we play, we're normally playing either new archetypes or really jokey archetypes. Or archetypes that we just like. Like Madolce! <laughs> oh yeah, Chaos Dragon was one too. You can just heckin' good. Or Ting. No, 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 no. If you're down backing, don't. I'm, I'm gonna talk about this again. You set me <laughs> off, Varian. If the other person's down backing, <laughs> don't ground grab. It's not just. There's two options. Go overhead, keep pressuring. Both of those are grab. infinitely better than doing a ground grab. <laughs> The crab. Neither of those get you killed if you guess wrong. Depending on the character, ground grab is nice when you're chasing a back tuck because there's a lot of times where characters don't have a op proper option without spending meter to go into a full combo if they if their opponent's back dashing. Uh, I feel well, like even then, most characters like. just call an assist if you have a team, you know. Sure. Oh, that's unfortunate. I don't know. I don't know. Like, in my experience, I've seen a lot of opportunities where it's like, oh, damn, grab, ground grab was a good option there because otherwise you would have not been able to convert into a full combo without yeah. using the word. Like... Hey, if you're playing with three hype, don't do it. You have a command grab. Do that instead. I mean, that thing sucks too, so don't do it. But don't, don't ground grab. <laughs> <laughs> Just go low, my dude. You have an overhead button. Spend your hype in your combo like a normal person. If you're Bayo with three hype and you start with a grab, you're scaling yourself. You could do so much more with a hop normal. Are oh, you one reason grounded grab is good? Just just one? Yeah, give me one. Peacock and bang. That sucks too though, you just make it whiff and kill it. <laughs> sure. That's because you're parasol. Not everyone can whiff hunters that easily. You don't know, Liza too, man. <laughs> 
that doesn't that doesn't <laughs> that proves my point. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what everyone's response to that is because I haven't played anyone that's not those two in forever. There are very few characters that can, without spending meter, of course, that can um, take advantage of them with punishing and all of that. Like, uh, you also have to go on in a hard read for some characters if you want to whiff punish it. Really? So, just kind of being able to grab it instead is kind of nice. You're playing Bay without hop normals is like playing Squiggly without charges. It's really. Like, you could make it work, totally okay. but they're really important. That's not uh, the thing about that pressure is they're using DP a lot in the pressure, which is really good when they push block you, which most people will do, because then you just jump in their face again. But if they don't push block, you've just done a DP on block and you die. It's very, very risky pressure. Very good when it works, very bad when it doesn't. <coughs> And because I'm me, I'm like, alternatively, you could just not push anything and then let them backdash and then kill them. And then you're not doing DPs on black, and it does the same thing. I like safety. But, but my mash. <laughs> I like safety. But don't you like to Speaking mash? Speaking of mash, have you ever had mashed potatoes with, like, garlic and cheese? It's a... No. I've never had mashed potatoes. Oh my god, it's so good. I mean, I can understand why you wouldn't think. Oh. Because you're, uh... <laughs> well, texture thing. Spaghetti phobia. Because you're... Spaghetti phobia. Yeah. Spaghetti -phobia. Um, yeah. What did, was that the name we had a lot? We gave it a dumb name before. I don't remember. Or it's spaghetti phobia now. Because uh -huh. <laughs> you're wrong, Crank is what it is. I've heard that one before. It's called Ronophobia. Rongophobia? Yeah, Ronophobia. <laughs> With their powers combined, my Tabla. diseases can be named Wrong Spaghetti. <laughs> Perfect. What's happening? I don't know. Dry Trap's uh, uh, just throwing. Dries' internet um, after game four started being a little shaky. Sinus we retried the for their uh, greatest Redux. connection either. So that's probably ah, a good combination. Their powers combined. <laughs> yeah. We have PowerPoint. Yeah. Actually, I, don't, I, have, I shouldn't judge Dries' internet. I don't know if it was my internet or his. There was no really easy way to tell. But like after game four, we like retried like twice. Just, or once? Once? I don't remember. We tried once, I think, at least. Um, so game five was janky, up and down. Wait, Variant, do you mean mid-combo? Because a lot of characters use sweeps into special mid-combo to combo. Parasol does it, Eliza do it, uh, Peacock do it, uh, Squiggly can do it. I enjoy doing it. <laughs> See, Variant, when you become good at the game, you start to realize what characters Bam, can do. It. <laughs> I honestly don't understand it actually. Like how do how does converting off of sweep work in the for those specific characters? Like how does that work? Sweep does a lot of damage. No no no, no that's <laughs> not what I mean. So normally when you sweep an opponent, right? Uh -huh. Unless they're in an OTG state, you can't convert off of it. They're put into an invulnerable knockdown. Right. There so are exceptions the to that because there are things where like they'll bounce off the ground and it won't count as an actual knockdown state, so to speak, because they're just bouncing. I don't know about that, because everyone this... I mentioned does it in an OTG state. Oh, okay, okay. So you were talking about doing it, converting off of OTG. State. Yeah. Okay. All right. Ignore me. I already do. Maybe Headless has had Mixer, so she's special about that. But I don't that... know. I haven't lied that yet. Oh. Oh! Oh, that's gonna be janky. Weird. Yeah, that looks like, weird. I, I think it was. Or it was light enough that I think he still could have converted with jumping like kick. He still should have done jumping like kick instead. That's it's us. okay. Dry wins. Even anyway. if they fall out, you won't get punished for the jumping like kick. So you try anyway. Heck. It. 
Why not? Why, they could just... Because they still have to fall and jump. You have time to do jump like they can land. You'll give up some pressure, but... Oh, okay. You know, if you get the combo... By the way, I forgot that I forgot to do this. Crank Hecky, you're mm -hmm. meant to leave the lobby so that you can rejoin and reset your score. <laughs> Didn't do that the last time you were on stream. That's fine. Heck you. No, it's not okay. fine. I said it was fine. <laughs> Sam, I've been doing these tournaments for four years and I can count on one hand how many times I played it. Hell I can count on one finger. It's twice. Wait, wait, no, wait. <laughs> <laughs> you do you have a serious medical problem with your finger? <laughs> do we need to get you help? No, I just can't focus my eyes, so my one finger looks like two. Oh, that's a mood. Wait, yeah. what? <laughs> so, what? <laughs> Speaking of moods, uh very <laughs> the first dry trap is on stream. <laughs> I saw the mood! <laughs> Deja vu, didn't we just do that? No, it was sign in versus tries. No, it's variant versus tries. Okay, cool. I'm so tired. I want everyone to know, including the people on this call, as soon as the mm -hmm. stream is off, I'm going to be talking so little. I had five energy out of a hundred, and I've been talking, and now I have one. <laughs> you know what the problem is? You have, you're not buying um, you're not buying enough energy off the Apple store, so they're not need to buy more so you can so you can fuel that game <laughs> what twenty dollars for 25 energy you've confused me the mobile apps see you know the way you, there's, why is it the apple like store because it's the app store it's an in-app purchase you don't buy it through the itunes store you buy it through the app it's actually Man, called the itunes store? mcdonald's yeah okay it's because um i don't use apple it's an in-app purchase <laughs> all right Buy Where am I? Buy some energy. Buy some energy. Also, I've been slowly, um, I've been slowly transitioning from Coke. I'm still drinking Coke, but my nanny brought in a bunch of like apple drinks, and they're really good. <laughs> Which one has more sugar, Sam? Because I'm, you might be transitioning for the worse. Which one has more sugar? Let me, let me check. So Coke has. Did you actually check? For sugar. Very bad. Carbo carbohydrates. Oh, uh, okay. How many carbs are in each one? So, in Coke, for 100 milliliters, there is 10.6 grams. For this, okay. there is 11 grams. Very bad, please. Case and point. But this is apple juice. This is probably better for you, regardless. Nope. Turns That's out fruit fucking... juice is actually worse for you than soda because of a higher fructose concentrate, but also because it's still a liquid form, it doesn't fill you up with all the liquid calories the same way Coke doesn't. So it's about the same. Um, apple juices, and they also both have acid and sugar in them, which means they're both really, really bad for your teeth. Because acid plus sugar means dissolve your teeth. But... Welcome to Health Get Great. But it's apple juice. It doesn't it suck. This has been me for the last three months. I hate life. <laughs> yeah, no, I I miss apple juice so much, but it's just objectively worse than just drinking soda. So what? long story short, drink less fruit juice and more soda. Or you could just drink water. I'm actually really angry. Just drink water. Water's good. I'm actually super angry. <laughs> Why is this more than Coke? No, I'm I'm upset. <laughs> yeah, water's dope. I'm actually like, no, nah, like I, do you like? There's an answer to that. There's I can tell you why. Like it's why? pretty straightforward. Why? Why? Because trees live off of sugars. What is fruit? It's like a food storage for trees. Tree babies. So, when a tree is gonna store food, why would it store not dense in sugars foods when sugars is what it needs? You know. So the reason it's super, super naturally concentrated sugar, um, whereas soda is just arbitrarily sweetened. Like basically, people just sweetened it until it tasted good, and then it was good enough. I'm dead serious. You can take water and dump like 20 packs of Splenda in it, and it will taste like a Coke. I've done it, sadly. I got five dollars out of it, so it was worth it's it. Worth it. I had a friend who put yeah. salt and pepper in his water. Like regularly? Like that's just what yeah. they did? I don't Big talk to problems. them anymore. 
Don't talk to him anymore. <laughs> Is that, is that the classic David? No. Is that what his name? No? It's All not right. even their name. <laughs> Daryl? Gary? Don't out him on stream, Sam. But is that I, the uh, one that I'm thinking of? I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, no, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. I was thinking of the same person, Sam, so I'm, I'm glad you asked, because I wasn't gonna ask. <laughs> yeah. No, that All person right. drank um, Kool-Aid only. Only? <laughs> oh, that makes sense, question mark. <laughs> I don't know. Um. Yes to everybody in chat and also Penny. Water is the god medicine. Just freaking drink water. It's dope. So but don't drink too much water because then it'll set off the pH balance in your stomach and drill a hole through you. That happened to me. Yep. So too much of a good thing is literally a thing. But. But it's <laughs> Also, Selfish King, the reason it's like so hard to. Like. I mean, at least for me, it was really, really hard to drink waters because I had a clinical sugar addiction. I was going through about 12 to 14 cans of soda a day. I absolutely needed it, otherwise I literally got shakes. So getting off of that was extremely difficult. I'm just sitting here looking at the fruit box, just really disappointed at it. <laughs> yeah, it happens. I'm just so looking at this apple going, you lied to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually Apple. really upset. And Apple Day will keep the doctor away, cause you'll be dead. No, Apple Apple don't need help. You could eat only Apple Jolly Ranchers, and it still wouldn't be good for you. Yeah, if you eat regular apple Sam, it's actually a lot better for you than drinking no, an apple. That better Apple's fucking be. I love apples. I'd better fucking be. no, I eat pears if that if I was the actual pears. fruit. Pears are great. <laughs> if I were to eat actual fruit. <laughs> Yeah, because that's not actual fruit. <laughs> apple juice is not actual fruit, apparently. I, don't eat, I only eat fake fruit <laughs> when I'm bothered. Yeah. No, like, Which is, sadly, apple. also why fruit smoothies are not that good, because you're still drinking liquid calories. Fucking. They're a little bit better than fruit juice, but fruit smoothies are still not I that good. Know, for I'm, I am I don't know. Yeah. You've I'm been lied to. What can I say? Genuinely upset. <laughs> It's so funny because all the information is going, like, available to you, right? Like you look at the back of a can of Coke, but you never look at the back of the box of a fruit. Yeah, juice. you just assume like, it's fine. Like, but it's, it's that information's right there. It's always been there. I'm like saying that, like you, why would you, you would fucking suspect the innocent apple? Apples are evil, man. <laughs> They're fucking evil. I'll tell you. Apples are. It's just the, the fruit guys. juice, honestly. If like fruit juice is worse than soda, but other than that, like fruit is. Like eat an apple instead of drinking a can of soda, but I don't think anyone was gonna do that. Or be like me, take 15 Adderalls, drink a cup of coffee, and then wake up in the morning and feel like you're almost awake. Oh, I want that. I don't wake me, up until like Penny, me and you have the opposite problem. <laughs> I mean, sort of. Like, I also have trouble sleeping, obviously, right? Right. But like, like you, when you wake up, you stay awake, right? Like yeah. you get rattled or whatever the reason, you stay awake. I. It, I, like, so many people hate me for this, but I have, like, several alarm clocks spread across several rooms of wherever I live at the time, and they all go off for about roughly an hour. Like, I just zombily walk around for about an hour, turning them off one at a time in order to wake myself up. It takes so long. I just, I just do not wake up. When I, as soon as I wake up, I'm up for the day. I just never get to sleep. <laughs> Two th the yeah. two things the two things that happen to me is I wake up and go not today and then I sleep for, like for another eight hours, or I sit there going I need to get up and I just start screaming. Yeah, nah, I want too much money. Yeah, okay, all right. So this was the so I had an interview today and the, the this is inside information I guess I don't know. Ooh. The highlight of that interview was at the very end. Uh, one of the people that was interviewing me just threw out a question right there at the very end, just like a really simple one. It's like, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I'm like, you mean since I was a little kid? And they're like, no, no, no. What do you want to be when you grow up from right now? And I'm like, rich. I just looked him dead in the eye and just <laughs> well, said, you want rich. That's it. You have the job. Rich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you want? I want the job. All right. Cool. <laughs> I mean, that's not a bad answer, though, to be yeah. honest. Nah, I cracked up the entire room, which made me feel <laughs> yeah. good. It's like, that's Rich. definitely a good thing I did in that interview. Yeah, hey, leave an impression. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's a grab. Yeah. Fun fact, pain wheel level 3 is a hit grab. Lies. 
Oh. <laughs> He's having a bit of a sta standoff here, you know. <laughs> oh, it, is. It, it actually is a hit grab sound. Yeah, I know it's a hit grab. Oh, okay. Penny said it was, so I, I heard her say that, so I know nine. Which means it scales to 55% if you somehow manage to convert off of it, which is kind of funny. But, mm. um... What's it called? Painwheel's raw tag is the only techable hit grab in the game, right? Uh, Question mark? Yes. Yeah. Say yes. What an obscure move. It like bothers me more than a lot of the other inconsistencies in Skullgirls. It's a hit grab that's techable. That blows my mind. I guess it has to be just because it's an air grab question mark. Like wouldn't be able to do much about it otherwise. <clears throat> Still no <laughs> It'll bother you for a while. It's really. It took me like it literally me. took me weeks to accept it. I can't accept it. I can't remember the last time I had apple juice. We just never like bought it. Um, I got hospitalized as a kid, and they found out that my like they found a lot of problems with me several I times say, over. Like, apple for every. Me up. <laughs> yeah, apples beat me up. <laughs> I had a red eye from an apple, but um, <laughs> no, nah, it uh. Basically, they found out that the only that I desperately needed some form of liquid nutrients and fast, and they just gave me fruit juice, and I'm like, I like this. And then I just, for like years since then, just drank tons of fruit juice to fix my body. So that was kind of interesting. Yeah. Right. So I did some good in the world. All right, you know what, Apple, you redeemed myself. You saved Crank a bit. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. You let me live on borrowed time. Yeah. Uh, apple juice, we give you some time. Not much, foe. We'll take it away if you keep drinking. <laughs> I'll take credit for this. You're welcome for all the parasols. <laughs> the dry trap's using my color. I don't know if I'm okay with that. But Is I guess this I the... can't complain because I kind of just stole Sunset's color. Shall we ban dry trap? Wait, that's not your color. I thought your color was yellow. Uh, no, I Wait. use the black and pink. Oh, okay. My bad. And I use a uh, red Eliza because I thought it was pink. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. Balance is restored. Like, I yeah. still just haven't changed it. It's still there. Because you can't at this point. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, in that Parasol versus Parasol matchup, we just saw a lot of tier zoning shenanigans is that is that how that goes yes yeah. Paras like... parasol's so bad against the it's why parasol versus parasol is such a bad matchup for parasol because she sucks against <laughs> zoning and she's really good at zoning parasol yeah. whoever has the like, tier advantage is gonna just straight up win i, I always i always love that one too parasol's fight it's like parasol's worst matchup is parasol. i say it like not even as a joke it's yeah no, it's not awful. even a joke that's the best part yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's it's like a it's a seventy thirty win rate for Parasol. <laughs> Seven three, yeah. I said that at CEO Daku. I stole Penny's line. It was great. <laughs> is that a dead? No. Oh, it it's is. It's like in uh, what is it called? Wings of Liberty in Starcraft. Protoss versus Protoss was basically seven three because it was like it just sucked ass. No one wanted to play it because it was always you four gated or you lost. That was it. In Heart of the Swarm, it evolved where either it's you four gate or um, well, there was like a like there was one player. It was you forget against everyone besides one player because one player found, like was able to consistently do an answer it, to it, and then that started losing to cannon rush. So it's either you forget it or cannon rush. Have and you then seen now we have like rushes? super void and it's okay. The more so recent what? cannon rushes are hilarious because you um yeah you build two they're a cannons. lot worse because you can't build a pylon on the ground now, right? Like you can't build it on the lower level. Oh, you still can. Oh, you can uh, still oh. But okay. the, oh, you, I guess you can't warp in on high ground? They're scarier now. You still can. Um, the reason they're scarier now is because you build, like, two cannons, and then you build a shield battery. Um, and then you just build a shield robo in their dumb. face, and you make immortals, and you can't ever kill the immortals because they have a shield battery. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I love immortals. They're my favorite unit. The live War forever. Online. Anyway, welcome to StarCraft Get Great. Where I teach you how to make drones. 
So you, you click you click your you click your command center, not even a command center. Yeah, you click your command center, make a probe. <laughs> and eventually it'll evolve Warp into in a spawning pool. <laughs> Warp in a pool. Just start oh my still God. thing. I've been playing it recently, it's fun. Legacy of the Void kind of killed it, but then low key they like fixed a lot of the problems that Legacy of the Void had, and it's been like, patched to death. And now if you go back to it, it's actually really, really nice. New maps came out today. They're really strange. Why, really? Damn. They still do map rotation. Like, yeah, how does it yeah. work? Uh, I don't yeah. know because this is the first one I've seen. I only saw one of the new maps, and I was like, "This is strange. I don't like it." I don't like it. <laughs> I probably only don't like it because it's uh, still strange. Welcome to Skullgirls Get Day. <laughs> well, we don't Where care there's 25 about viewers and 24 of you have the stream muted, and the other one is me, Sam, and Crank. Wait, was just one? All combined. With the stream on, yeah. <laughs> if our powers <laughs> combined, we can make one person. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. We could do I anything. have no idea what happened. Who won? <laughs> the is this a tournament? Wheel. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> the pain wheel one. Do you have the pain wheel one? Variant. Alright, dope. No, free tea. So it was. Listening to every word, that's. a condition. Dangerous. <laughs> that's a condition. <laughs> yeah, the, uh. The World Health Organization officially made it diagnosable as, uh, listens to every word of Get Great. <laughs> Punishable by death. <laughs> That's how diseases <laughs> work. <laughs> you get like sentenced for having a disease. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that we mean? laugh about this, but that's basically exactly the mental health process. Yeah, that's pretty. And has been for a very, very long time. <laughs> What's that? Uh. You have a, you have you have the cold. Twenty years. That's what I'm talking about. Um, okay, three, three, two for variants, right? Yes. Hey, grand yeah. finals. Grand what? finals, finally. Hydra versus finally, variant. Sam. It's the finale. See guys, the boy. <laughs> we'll talk about boy. <laughs> you. I want to talk about boys. Nah. No? Nah. But crank. Sam, girls rule. I don't think you understand this. No, n no, they do, but so do boys. Nah. Yeah. Nah. When you're pansexual, everything kind of rules. It's kind of like being a highness. See, it's just... women because they have higher government jobs. <laughs> <laughs> I have accidentally opened my League of Legends client, so if you hear a sound, nice. uh, hold on. <laughs> All right, I fixed it. <laughs> Ever so impressive. Professional stream, by the way. 130-something of these. 137, somehow. Ooh. That's not even... Does that count? Yeah, that... Does that count? We count the special event ones under that number, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Also, Frank, what did you say when I said about the pansexual thing? You, you, like, asked something? I said... Well, it's like... Well, you said everything is, um awesome when you're pansexual, right? Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, so also when you're high on ecstasy. I wonder if that's related, is what I said. Okay. No. That's not related. <laughs> that was, that was a not, great conversation. I'm never high, I'm never high on ecstasy. This is Aristotle, Plato, and Socrates sitting in a room. They're sitting there, and it's just like, yes, being high on ecstasy and being pan, are they related? And then they just quietly sit there for a moment and go, no. 
Good <laughs> so like, Arist- you... They're like sitting there for a good fight for any minutes, and Aristotle just kind of like looks up and goes, "No, this is exciting." What am I watching? Well, I, was like, oh. I was just enjoying that. that was, Do you that was think great. that Plato's mom was called Light Bright? <laughs> Wait, what? Say that again. Plato's mom was Light Bright, and his dad was Potato Head. Wait, why? Because they're all children's toys. Wait, what's a Play-Doh then? It's a children's oh! toy. Oh! Ch- Wait, what? It's a children's toy. It's, I've never heard of it. It's like, um, it's sculpting clay, kind of. Oh, Play-Doh! Oh! <laughs> I see the word play <laughs> The word Play-Doh. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna fucking cheat you. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Skullgirls Be Great, where we have 24 viewers, and after that joke goes through, we're gonna have 19. <laughs> 19. Only five people. Five That's people are just gonna close it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm, I know I'm like partway through Grand Finals. It's all but I'm five of Sam's like proxy routers. Like <laughs> Sam's just gonna like. Oh, just unplug them. <laughs> yeah. Done with this. I was I was trying to make my friends like streams look good. Nah, they're getting disconnected. No more. <laughs> I'm actually kind of hyped if for April first we do Candy League. That's gonna be so funny. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be. Good I don't time. know why, but I'm just really I excited. I can't about wait this for to bring reason. back the horizontal waterfall. <laughs> that, okay, real talk right. though, that game's gonna be so much uh-huh. more fun to watch when people don't know what they're doing. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh, so it's gonna be great because we're gonna have broken lobbies again because the lobbies are worse. Oh, yeah, than lobbies are worse than Skullgirls. That's oh my great. god! <laughs> What's that? You joined the lobby like the second time? Yeah, we're probably gonna have to have you restart the game like five times before it works. All right, you're up. Open your seven copies of Lethal League just in case. I need to just draft up like a like just make a quick dumb prototype of a fighting game. Like, not functional at all, and just, like, maybe you can just move left and right or something, and then try to... Yeah, but then I have to modify footsie source code, and I don't want to do that right now. But, like, if I can just throw together a freaking, like, dumb fighting game where you just move left and right, I want to see how hard it is to make lobbies. I don't understand why it's so difficult. You just, you just want to, you just want to make, you want to make a lobby prototype? I want to make a lobby prototype. I want to make a lobby simulator. Oh and my just god! Put the it on Steam like as like, why is this so hard? And just make silly like passive aggressive comments that <laughs> scroll through at the top while people sit in the lobby, and that's it. That's all that game is. Dude, and randomly, you like, can call it Tic Tac GGPO. <laughs> <laughs> and make it Tic Tac Toe. <laughs> that's goblin. <laughs> Yeah, no, if Footsies had, like, proper online play, I would love that to death. That game, that game is great. so good. Fucking, well, just fucking, like, make a lobby simulator and just, like, randomly, like, they'll just be sitting in the lobby and an 8 will just appear in the middle of the screen. Need Wasn't it 8? <laughs> I know what you mean, but nah. Well, it's like got a... Or something, yeah. I, I want it to be a perfect lobby. It's just a perfectly functional lobby, but it doesn't actually lobby you up for anything. It's just there to make passive-aggressive comments to all the games that can't make lobbies correctly. You ready like, up, like... it gives you, like, a fortune cookie quote, and then it rotates. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why did you buy this, key? <laughs> no, it's a ready... You ready up, and then it matches everybody up, like, one-on-one. One. It lo- sends you to a load screen, connects, and loads a lobby and then puts you in it. Oh, it's lobbies and lobbies. <laughs> yeah, lobbies for days. It, like, it's like a huge following and you're just, you just like message Capcom, just like, look, people are playing this shitty game because it has GGPO. <laughs> I mean, that's the whole reason that one animal fighting game happened. Yeah. Is to see like it doesn't matter how bad a game is as long as it has good neck. <laughs> Wasn't that Animal Fighting? Are you talking about the game that's like a sequel to or a spiritual successor to what's it called, Fight of Gods? No. It might be. I, I just know the only reason it exists is because they wanted to send a message about GGPO. That's kind of cool. I respect that. Uh, and trap. GGPO is open source now, so like no one has an excuse. Dry Trap. If you want to know if I'm proud of you, look at the vod for the first game you played. <laughs> you wouldn't. Kenny was not. <laughs> 
Penny was not proud of you at all. <laughs> Penny was not proud of you. I no, I'm, pr you I'm proud. No, you weren't. Disappointed, but proud. Don't lie to the guy. <laughs> Hey, hi, I think Penny's proud of your progress, not your destination. <laughs> I don't think I'm anyone's it's destination. It's my destination. <laughs> player, you'll find a way to shit on them. <laughs> you're, you're my destination because I can't wait to fucking just drive that car <laughs> and see you kill me. But I wouldn't be, it'd be past me that's the destination. I'm just in the way. Sam, yeah? why would anyone trust you with a car? I don't know. I don't trust me with a car. <laughs> The only correct destination is to not drive. And that was Grand Finals. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 Thanks for watching the Skullgirls podcast. Um, I don't know who won. Hydra won. <laughs> Hydra won. I got you. Don't worry. It wasn't what right, you said. Ladies and gentlemen, Hydra is our grand champion. Congratulations. Very well played. We, we the, um, the, the gameplay was astonishing. <laughs> We couldn't believe it. We just couldn't talk about it. It was that great. <laughs> Sam, don't be mean to me. I'm being mean to all of us. None of us paid attention. I wasn't paying That's attention. That's not true. I watched. I just did not pay attention to the score. Like, I would love if Skull was just always on in the background. I would just, my eyes would always be on it. It's like salty but bets, like... but for Skullgirls. Yeah, it's like salty bets, but like. Actually, no, it would just be like salty bets, wouldn't it? It's just salty bets. <laughs> It's just salty bets. I just want salty bets on in the background at all times. I swear, when I have my own house, I'm gonna modify every room so there's like a TV in a waterproof area or whatever. It always has salty bets on like every room. It's just it's like it's Dang and there. Rampa, where there's a monitor in every room, except it has salty bets on it. You know, Dang and Rampa would have been ten times of a better game if it just if had it salty, salty bets on every yeah. monitor. Dang and Rampa salty bets. I play yeah. the heck out of a Dang and Rampa fighting game. So would I. That'd be awesome. I mean, pretty much anything that has notable characters can be turned into a fighting game and people will play it. That's why Persona Fighters worked. That's, true. That's why Smash worked, honestly. That's also true. Um, That's why Mortal Kombat worked. So that was the stream. We're gonna... Um, turn it off. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> so The stream must be ended. You're welcome. I guess. You guys are all awesome. See you all around. <laughs> okay, no. bye. Bye.